Welcome back, y'all. It's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts, Halls, and More, and we're here with episode two of the series, A Craft or Two a Day to Take the Stress Away, or to Keep the Stress Away. So the first craft we're going to start with is this little heart beaded garland I had purchased from Dollar General. So I am just going to rip the little price tag off the back of it. And then I am going to sand down the front of this heart that has the rainbow on it with my sanding block from Dollar Tree. Just because I'm going to cover this with some Waverly White chalk paint, which I only used one coat to do so once I sanded that down because it was very, the rainbow was very faint. There I'm just cleaning up the mess with my little, well that used to be a ladybug vacuum. Well Peyton broke my little ladybug vacuum so I had to order a new one and they finally came out with new designs for those little mini vacuums. So I got the grouchy looking face one just because I thought it was funny. And I also told Peyton not to touch this one, but she's threatening threatening to do so either way. Anywho, so once that was painted white, I used my heat gun just to dry that quickly. And then I am going to use one of the conversation heart clingies that I had on hand from Walmart. I tell you what, these 11 clings for 98 cents have taken me a long way with many crafts so far this Valentine's. Then I'm just going to use this little tube of Elmer's glue I had on hand. Put it on the back of that conversation heart and I'm going to smooth that down to that heart that I just painted on the tassel or garland or whatever you're going to call it. I'm using my Arteza squeegee to smooth out the glue bubbles along with my fingers. And once that's done I'm going to take a couple dots of Mod Podge over the top of it and I'm going to use my paintbrush just to paint that Mod Podge over top. That way it seals that cling onto that little wooden heart. And then once that's done, I will use my heat gun on this again just to help it dry a little quicker. I'll smooth it out with the bubbles that that created. And then I'm going to hang it up for the night to dry. And then you guys will see the finished product on my tiered tray here in a moment. I did, I updated this just so it would match like the sweet theme I have going in my kitchen more than that rainbow did. And there it is completed, sitting in my little tiered tray but with my coffee stuff. I think it turned out super cute and it was super quick to redo. So let me know what you guys think of that one. And on to the second one. So I had this old heart wreath. I mean, I think I've had this thing for over 10 years. It was in a box in the basement, and it was, as you can see, really gunky and nasty looking. So I just ripped off all of that tinsel that was on there, and I'm going to replace it with the tinsel garland I had purchased this year from Dollar Tree. It's like a rose gold color with the red hearts on it, and I'm just going to leave this heart form the way it is with all those little pegs sticking up, and I those actually I use it to my advantage. I tie this down at the bottom there to get it started and then I'm going to use those pegs just to weave this back and forth on so that way the tinsel is attached to it. If you guys see in the background that's huge. Peyton's, well our family dog but I always say it's Peyton's dog because you know animals pick their person and Hooch picked Peyton immediately when we got her a few years ago. So I do end up using two and three quarters, two, two full tinsel garlands and then a three quarters of a third one to cover this heart wreath form. And once I get to the end of the first one, I just tack it down with a little dot of hot glue. And then I will start the second one right where I left off with the first and then just use those little pegs again to weave this garland back and forth. I will also tack down the end of this one once we get to it with hot glue and then the pieces of the third one that I end up using as well. This is a really easy way to not throw away something that looks horrible and just redo it you guys. So this cost me well, I'm going to add something to the front of this. So a total of $4 to remake, which to me isn't bad because if you buy one of these wreaths brand new, especially with what I add to it, it's going to cost way more than $4. 
And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy these little crafts that I've been trying to get out to you all. Um, if you guys want to know anything about me, my name is Crystal. I am a single mom of two kids. I work full time and then I craft as much as I can on my spare time in between my job and running my daughter to her job and, you know, playing nurse counselor and everything else to my kids and housekeeper and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys choose to stick around and become far, part of this beautifully broken, crazy family of mine. There I'm just filling in any gaps or any areas where I thought it might have looked a little um, less fluffy than a other areas. So I just weaved it on those pegs as well. I was able to weave it with no problem and then tack it down in the back with a little dab of hot glue and cut off the excess. And I just fluff it up a little bit. Debated on adding more and then decided not to. So I had this little round, uh, not round, this little heart from Dollar Tree as well. It says kisses. It looks like faux shiplap with some flowers on it. And I just untied that ribbon that was already attached to that heart. And I tied it to the loop at the top of the heart wreath form. That way it could dangle from the center of there. And then I just tucked the ribbon down so you can't see it. And then I took this little piece of heart tinsel that fell off some of the garland. And I glued it to that hole that was on the Kiss's heart there. And I just used my scissors to push it down through that hole a little bit. And Dollar Tree had some excess hot glue on there, so I was just rubbing it off of there to get it off. And there that is completed. I have it hanging, at, for now, on my living room wall. I don't know if that's where it's going to stay. I rearrange my decor constantly. But that is it, you guys, for this quick little a craft or two a day to keep the stress away. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys like the this little series and let me know if I should keep it going. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys soon. Love you all so much. 